This is Journey to Spiritual Greatness. I'm Skip. And I'm Robin. And And it's it's time for Transformation. Robin. Yes, we're back. (laughs) We are back. Hello. Hello. It's been a minute. I know. Been busy, you, but you've been busy. Life what has you, just been happening in a good way. Like always. how? Just you know, new exciting things like you know, getting <laughs> our trying to get our yes. podcast going yes. and all that stuff. All the details. This is a big that. venture for both of us, right? And we're pulling same angel cards today, and something is like That's so we are connected. We just want to welcome you to another episode of Journey to Spiritual Greatness. Yes, yes. We're talking about. I'm nervous. We're talking about self-love. Oh, I love it. I know you are. That's your jam. That's totally my jam. And that has been my uh, my journey, my yes. invitation right. to dive deeper into why I have not fully loved myself in mm-hmm. a long, long time. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of nervous about what's going to come out because whenever I'm with you, <laughs> I get these divine <laughs> insights. So it's so, so beautiful. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart Aww. for being on this so journey awesome. on this podcast with us yes. and, but it's a journey of life yes absolutely. journey of life so let's catch up okay. so this week you're busy what were you doing this week um i've been doing a lot of uh, seeing a lot of clients yeah uh, a lot of so i think that's really exciting yeah you know as um energy healing all those modalities are really kind of coming we talked um, about that the last right, show right they're coming more you know forward as yeah. options and and so I've been seeing a, a lot of a lot more people, mm. and so that's really exciting. And people that maybe are just curious and having good experience with it, yeah. and um, so that kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, fun stuff. Any fun fun? Let's see. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I love that face I you made. I don't know. I've, you know what I've been doing? Actually, I've been doing a lot of learning, a lot of growing, and that's fun, right? Yeah, a lot of gr- I love. Reading books, like mm. books, books. I love reading them. I love dogging them. I love making my notes in yeah. there. And so, what's your go-to um, book right now? What are you? What are you into? I okay. So <laughs> I really love. I I love yeah. near death experiences. I love those books. That and was me is, breathing. That was me taking yes, a deep breath. Him, I love that. Yeah. And this is yeah. why what? I love this because uh, a lot of these books are accounts from people from all over the world who have never met each other and they all have very simul- similar experiences when they go to the brief time to the light. Mm. Their description, how it feels, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's it's amazing and they've never met each other and this is this happens all the time, you know, and, and some of these people have been brave enough to kind of share their story to get it out there. That sure. this, you know, they've been life changing. They can never go back to being um, how they were before in the ego space. They yeah. just can't. They've literally lost it when they've come back mm-hmm. from the light. And I love those stories. And I love the stories because for people that are fearful and right, I, we'll right. have this as another podcast, of right. course, of death. Yeah. Right. I think it gives you such a beautiful, peaceful, loving, yes, a feeling of knowing that um, you don't just die and then you're done, you know? And so I think it's for people that are fearful or or worried about what happens or to their loved ones, it's unbelievable. It's such a great sense of peace and love, and you you don't look at it the same oh, way. Oh, that is definitely another show right. that we got coming. Right. Up. We can talk about that. So we have to talk. I'm really into those kind so of. So you're I've been reading, reading some great books. Yes, and it's fun. Growing and the brain. Someone said something. I heard that if you find and you do the things you love. Mm-hmm. It's always fun. Life is fun. Absolutely. So you don't have a designated, I'm doing having fun now. Woo! No, no. <laughs> Life becomes fun. Right. When you're living your passion, um, doing the things that you enjoy doing, it's it's not work. It really right. isn't. It just right. flows and it's I love that. every day can be fun. Mm. You know? Fun. How Yay. about you? Well, I don't know if it's been a fun week, but I've been going through a lot of healing and, and we'll talk a little bit more about this later on, but I've gone through this heavy congestion Mm -hmm. and I actually had to go to the doctor, antibiotics, Mm -hmm. and um, 
So it's been kind of like being still and, and healing and, and, and bringing stuff forth. But I saw a shaman. Oh, that's exciting. And the shaman said to me, your congestion is pent up joy that's been in your heart that's trying to mm. pass through you for lifetimes. Mm-hmm. And I went, I went, woo. <laughs> and I found, so I've had this kind of fun love relationship with Mother Gaia mm-hmm. and being in a place of just like meditating. I know everyone's going, well, this is not the fun stuff. This is the spiritual stuff, but it's all fun. It's all <laughs> right, spiritual. Absolutely. I've been in this place of absolute joy. Oh, so I've been taking that. time being in the backyard, yes. looking at flowers in a different way. Mm-hmm. I've been, you know, driving my car differently because you've still, still been going, doing a little bit of work, mm-hmm. but driving slower. Yeah. Listening to different music where I would normally listen to my house music. I love my house music. Right. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's been really going into places like Deva Pramal, which is speaking chants and singing right. chants. And mm-hmm. so that's been like the fun stuff. That's right. been kind of a lot of good energy, fun. And um, I was supposed to go to the theater last night, but we decided not to because just didn't want to be around people. Right. That's and my okay. best friend, my roommate, the, my mm-hmm. roommate right now, Bill, is a. Uh, experiencing his congestion and right. we're like we just didn't want to go to the theater but we're big theater queens i always say <laughs> I, we love theater and so we're we're going to go next week we're going to go see right. margaritaville oh, fun. and yeah it was fun yeah it's gonna be fun and um so that's kind of where where i've been it's kind of been more of the the light fun stuff right right <laughs> and that's okay it's Isn't that definitely great? okay to I probably feel like I've been yeah. in that space too, right? A lot of reading and just retreating. Retreating. Retreating and just taking time for yourself. I remember the last show or maybe the show before you talked about that we are becoming ready and primed to go deeper. Because mm-hmm. we're being called to go deeper. Yes. And I see it around me. And, and it's it's not everyone. It's those who are, we call it the kids, called the woke people. Right. Who are woke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was I love that term. I, you woke. Okay, I'll be woke. Okay. But 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 it's that it's that place that if you're willing to mm-hmm. expand your consciousness and move into a higher state of, of consciousness, they're ready yes. and they're feeling it. And yep. this energetic remember in the beginning we were talking about in January how it was just a shake up. It was hard oh, to get into yeah. January. But you also mentioned to me that that was a time of releasing 2019. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that January and February space was a part of the release. A lot of people felt that. You were definitely not the only and one. And so it was a it was a required time to just be still and present right. mm-hmm. and be with it. Right. And, and, and be with process it. Process everything and process there's new energies that are coming, you know, they come all the time yeah. to the earth and we're energetic beings, so we're definitely gonna feel that. And I feel like a lot of people are really in a state of self reflection mm-hmm. and this is going to continue for quite a while until we get into um, it's you know the golden age, whatever, <laughs> golden age. Yes. We get to a state of enlightenment. We're all enlightened, and that will have that. This will be an ongoing process of releasing and healing, yeah. purging, purifying, transforming. I think the purge is really important. The mm-hmm. releasing, the purging mm-hmm. is so important. That so holds holds us back. Right. You just said something really important. I'm reading this book called The Energy Codes mm-hmm. by Dr. Sue Mortar. And actually, I, I, I am being called to be a part of what she does in helping people heal through understanding that we are energy. Mm-hmm. We are soul beings. Mm-hmm. We are soul beings, and our bodies are here to support the soul. Yep. And our minds are here to support the soul. Mm-hmm. Is when I'm learning that, when I'm leading with the head or the body mm-hmm. and not with the soul, right. there's a disconnect. Yes, absolutely. When I'm leading with the soul, mm-hmm. there is a, there is the fullness of the possibilities that we're able to 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 do. Yes. Um, this came from that that meeting with the shaman. Yes. And this is why we're talking about what we're talking today, which is a two parter. So guys, yeah. This is gonna we're gonna go deep here um about self love. Mm-hmm. And um so I will share this without giving too many details mm-hmm. that when I was five years old I had a very traumatic experience. Mm-hmm. Maybe later on in in the series I'm, I'm able to really talk about it in the fullness. But this traumatic experience stopped me from actually fully loving myself. Mm -hmm. And I haven't spoken to my inner child in 50 years. Wow. And I realized, and the shaman said to me, this is your time of really connecting, forgiving, and truly loving yourself. And 
he said to me, when you're able to embrace what you're deemed to be negative as being a part of the divine journey, which is beautiful as well, mm-hmm. will you absolutely tap into your own power? Mm-hmm. So in the state of meditation, I, I'm not even clear of where I was, but I know I was in this ball of love. Mm-hmm. And I just came to this place of, I forgive myself. I love myself. I forgive myself. I yeah. love myself. Yeah. And so everything else since that experience, I realized the stuff that I hold on to, the resentments, the hating my father for not being there and, and thinking my mother did something wrong, all that nothing matters. Right. Only thing matters is love. Right. And it came from a place of understanding self-love. Mm-hmm. So powerful. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm sure you've had that experience because that's what you teach. Yes. So to yes. so share, what what have you, what was your big, ah, uh, about self-love? What was your well, big thing? Well, I think self-love <coughs> is ongoing. It, it's it is. every day. <sighs> it's not, you know, okay, I, you know, I discovered I need to heal this, and then you're done with it. It is a, it's a forever journey, as long mm. as you are here in this physical body. Yeah. But it is the true essence of yeah. who you are. Yeah. You are the true essence of love, mm. and you were created through love. Mm-hmm. You'll go back to love, right? Go back when we to leave love. our physical bodies. We go back to love. Yes. And um, it is ongoing journey. And some um, experiences really will test that. And some relationships, right? I mean, th- when I'm talking about experiences, I'm talking about <laughs> all encompassing, yeah. right? Some yeah. friendships, relationships, um, boundary mm-hmm. lessons, mm-hmm. right? Um, trust lessons. I mean, all, everything will cause you to choose love, yeah. right? right? Everything will cause you that. Just l- like when I say um, you have a choice every day, mm-hmm. every second of your day, how you're going to choose to respond. Right. Will you choose through fear, which yeah. is your ego, mm-hmm. or will you choose through love, which is your truth? And that's what I call the reaction versus the interaction. Yes. Reaction, you're reacting to something. Mm -hmm. You're leading with your head. You're leading with your body. It's outside of you. It's outside Mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. The interaction is being fully integrated into that space. It's within you. Mm -hmm. Love. Um, The one thing I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing, I'm very clear and aware of this, moving not away from that experience, but the experience with the shaman, but I'm further away from that moment. Right. But I'm still very much in it. Right. There is times that will come up and I'm driving down the 405 today mm-hmm. and I'm going into work and I have an eight o'clock class to teach and the traffic stopped. Right. And then my go to when traffic stops on the right. 405 to go in that place uh-huh. of I'm going to be late. Self hatred. I call that your default I'm gonna, setting. Yeah, the default <laughs> setting. I'm going to be late. I'm going to be, they're not going to like me. Mm-hmm. This is going to be wrong. I'm going to lose my job. That's, your That's ego. all far, a part of not loving myself. Mm-hmm. And I got to choose. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. I'm yeah. right here. Love is here. Love uh-huh. is all that there is. Right. Everything else is, is actually not real. In right. Sanskrit, we, Sanskrit, in yoga, we call it the maya. Yeah. It's the illusion of being real. Right. Thinking that everything around me is happening. It's right. real, but it's not. Fear is an illusion. It's an illusion. Yeah. It's all self-love. It's yes. going back. And it's nothing that you can attain outside of yourself. No. It's Never. something that you integrate. Never. Yes. That is something I... <laughs> I hmm. tell people all the time because everybody does this little, well, when I when I get this car, yeah. when I get in this relationship, <laughs> when I get this handbag, <laughs> when I get this job, <laughs> when I get this, right? Right. They, those are all things outside of yourself. Outside of yourself. Outside of yourself. And so what happens when you lose the car, you lose the house, you lose the relationship. You lose the boyfriend. Right. Or the what husband happens? and wife. Then because you placed such a great value into those things, such great love, right? What you're receiving is when I get those things, I'll be better and this and everybody will like me and I'll be more successful, right? Right. When you place such a high value and external things like that, when they leave you. Because they will. They will. They will. Yes, they They will. will. Um, Then all of a sudden, right, people are in a tailspin. They think their life is over. They think they'll never have this again. They'll never do this again. And it's because they took such a 
vital part of their essence and they put that power into external things. Even you the physical body out. too. Yes. The physical body. Yes. I mean, listen, I remember <laughs> <laughs> 20 years old I had the abs, baby. Okay. I still kind of have those abs though, but not they're not they are 55. Abs, okay? They're they're 55. They're 55 year old abs, but they're still abs, <laughs> they're good. But even the physical body will leave us. Mm -hmm. It's not meant to be here forever. No. no. So what is the real Love is our energy, is yes. our vibration, it's a frequency, it, it's love. That doesn't leave you, but yeah. you can give it away. Oh, I love that. That does not leave you. So, yeah. you know, I'd always um, come across people, and when you're younger, right, you're like, oh, oh, he's so fun, <laughs> he's so Ooh, hot, child. right? Oh, yes. And, but he wasn't a nice person, and you didn't care, because you thought he was mm. so fine, external, right? And so, I call it. I call it God cleverly disguised as an asshole. Right. So you have to, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So you have to yeah. um, get to a space. Yeah. And so I would always kind of let people, oh, but he so this and da-da-da. And he has money, he has this and da-da-da. And I said, you know what? And then what happens when, you know, we never want this to happen. But what happens when tomorrow they lose their looks? What, what if something Ooh. traumatic happens and, yeah, and yeah. they lost it? Mm -hmm. What happens if tomorrow or in, in one hour they lost their job? They mm. lost their finances. Because it happens they lost like that. Yes. It's a real deal stuff. What? Life happens. What is the essence of that person? Yeah. Who's yeah. left then when all the good looks are gone and the nice car and the money and all those things? What's left? Because mm. those things don't matter. Yeah. They don't matter then. And we should be free of putting... Such yeah. a beautiful gift to such a beautiful, beautiful gift of our essence into external things that can leave us in a yeah. moment, a quick moment. So what is your description of what would you if you could put what self love is, what mm -hmm. how would you describe self love? I know it's a big one. That's yeah. why we have two weeks it's of the so, show. Okay. We're gonna talk more about so uh, what would how how would you describe self love? Well, I think again, it's an all encompassing thing. Right. And I feel that when you can learn to be in a state of self-love, that the reflection of everything, everything that you look at and you perceive, mm. the way that you speak to yourself, the way that you breathe, the way that you yeah. eat, your mm -hmm. state of peace, yeah. right? The way you carry yourself, right? Everything flows when we're in a state of self-love because in self-love, there are no resistance right. because even when there's we what we perceive as barriers or challenges that may arise, mm -hmm. we are able in a state of self-love, which gives us peace right. to flow right over them, to flow through them, to to handle them in a different perspective, because the mm. way that we perceive the situation in which is before us and what we're going, what's happening we have a way of dealing with it in a more peaceful state, in a non-reactive state, in a state of calm, right? Right, right. And going through. When we're reactive, those that is a that is from ego. Mm -hmm. That is from ego. You mm -hmm. don't have to. And yes, there are some big things that happen of different extremes always. and levels. Yes. Always. But you can always choose self love. Yeah. I always say when my kids right get. Um, Upset. And that's God's calling right there. That's yes. the angels yes. good today. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love that. So that's real I, life. Um, yes, yeah. we are. This is real life. <laughs> this is a okay? real deal. We're in the is... real deal space of life. <laughs> so and, you know, so I love it. Love when, it. Um, when my kids, mm -hmm. right, I am a big proponent in allowing people to feel their emotions. Yeah. Emotions mm. are energy. So you don't want to hold back. You know yeah. when people, they hold it and they hold their breath and they because they don't want to cry right. or they don't want to, you know, express that emotion. I'm like, that's energy. You need to feel through that emotion. We're not going to, you know, forget about that. But in the moment, you know, do you, is it more important to be peaceful? Yeah. Do you want to choose peace or do you want to choose this? Right? It's one of those things where you get to, and, and very much my, my definition is very similar to that. Mm -hmm. My definition of self-love, and, and here's the thing that has gotten me to the place, is understanding that love is what I am. Mm -hmm. That's really yes. who I am. It's nothing else. And nope. it's not something that I do to mm -hmm. know. It's not something I get to have. It's mm -hmm. something that I become aware of. Mm -hmm. It's waking up to mm -hmm. this absolute presence of love that's unconditional. Mm -hmm. Here's where I, I'm learning about what you're saying here, that that 
when you understand that love is the absolute presence, there is no conditions. No. You can't love. That's why we talk about, we say unconditional love, so like flip it, we put it out there. Right. But the truth is, mm -hmm. love is love in the absolute. Mm -hmm. And that is who we are. And that's a, that's a presence of self-love. Yes. And so I love what you said. We we eat differently. When we understand who and what we are, that we are love, yeah. we choose wisely. Yes. We choose like this beautiful spread of, let's see, we <laughs> have, have raspberries, <laughs> we have tangerines, we have um, we have cucumbers, cucumbers we have my favorite, favorite <laughs> my favorite nuts. Oh my God, this is how we take care of ourselves and it comes from a place of self-love. Right. Or exercising comes from a place of self-love. Mm -hmm. Or Choose meditation. Relationships. What do you do to regain? Because we all fall out of that place of we, we might go to sleep, but we have to rewaken up. So, How do you rewaken yourself to self-love? So this is what I um, suggest to everyone. Yeah. Single, not single. And, um, and remember, everything that we say, we're doing ourselves. This right. is our own practices. Absolutely. We're giving it to you. This yeah. is through experience. Yeah. And, and this is where we've gained this knowledge mm. and this wisdom. And um, so... I always say if you continue to work on your self-love, right, which is very important every mm. day, if it's working out, we're taking care of our <sighs> shell, right? If we're meditating or praying or journaling, we're taking care of our emotional state, right? All these things are all encompassing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, when we're eating, Ooh. we're eating things that are food is energy. We're putting that to our body, is right? Energy. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to splurge <laughs> right. and enjoy things here and there, right? right? But but that is energy. That is an act of self-love. How we speak to ourselves mm -hmm. is an act of self-love. Yeah. Looking into the mirror and being like, "Oh, you look horrible." Not no, no, no. Just change your outfit, right? You don't have to say any of that. <laughs> but I always think that when you armor yourself, and what with, are you seeing though when you look in the mirror? What are you seeing? And, and, and here's the thing. You're either seeing the beauty of the present moment or you're yes. seeing your past experiences. Right. Well, that's how you see life is yeah. through the veil of your experiences. Exactly. So if you're seeing your life through the veil of love, well, then everything looks entirely different. Entirely different. So if you can learn to. So when I say put on the armor of self-love, yeah. I'm not saying that you're not going to allow love to come through. That's the only thing that's going to allow to come through. Because it's the only thing that's real, right? Yes. Is, is love. So mm. when we have this, this armor of self-love on, when you get into a relationship, right, I feel it's less easy for you to be manipulated, right? Because if you're going in with, okay, whatever you do, uh, what do you want me to do um, to make you happy? That's you're not self-love. You're a doormat. Right. But you're in a, a state that somebody can manipulate, take advantage of you, right? right? That is right. not self-love. Right. Self-love is okay. And it doesn't mean, right, that we don't falter sometimes. Nobody's perfect. That's the path. Right. That's the journey. But when we go into the relationship, yeah. the difference of someone who's in a state of self-love is we can recognize when, you know, this is not this um, way of the way that you're wanting to treat me or you're wanting to change me or, you know, you say you love all these things, but you're trying to change all the things about me. Right. That's not self-love. Because we will allow people to love us the way we, we they will love right. us the way we allow. Right. Um, one of the things I'm learning about this in this mm -hmm. place of self-love, mm -hmm. if I'm not able to fully love myself, I can't fully love you no. or fully accept love from you. Will you will never be able to receive and give at the depth of yeah. the capacity in which you're created if you don't understand the depth of your self-love. Yeah, when we do the relationship show, two, probably two shows, this is a two-parter, guys. We're going to do a relationship show down the way. Right. I will tell you more about the past 15 people that have been in my life <laughs> intimately. And that's a lot. People go, that's a lot. But then I realize, no, it's not. Right. It's a path. Right. It's a journey. There's no number of how many intimate relationships you are called to have. <laughs> I just realized, too, that in this path of, of relationships, I have never fully loved myself in these relationships. Mm -hmm. And this is a new chapter in my life of fully loving myself. Right. So right now I'm going to a place of celibacy mm -hmm. and I'm not dating. I'm not looking at anything on the line. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Wink, 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 wink. I'm not going no there. 
a part of being sober, being mm-hmm. very, very aware and awake so I can fall in love with Skip. Yes. And, yes. and that, that's the journey of Every falling day, in love. Every day you need to fall in love <laughs> Absolutely. with yourself. Every day. Absolutely. Every and day. You, and you get to see life differently once you do that. I was saying to you earlier before we got online, I'm seeing colors I've never seen before. Right. And we are, and we talk about sacred geometry, and that'll be another show. But you get to see how all these lines connect everything. I'm seeing it in how a different life way. Life is connected to life everything. Life is connected, and how everything comes is from oneness. a place of self love. Everything yes. because of that. Yes. And you get to witness that all around you every day. Mm. And when you're in a state of self love, yeah. well, because it's also a vibration. What do you attract? Do you yeah. attract? more energy of love, more things to love, more people, more experiences, right? Yeah. Foods that you love, this, yeah. you know, all kinds of things. Reverend Michael, my friend Reverend Michael talks about this. Michael Bernard Beckwith at Agape talks about this. He says that, you know, law of attraction is great, but we have to look at the law of radiance. Mm-hmm. And the law of radiance is what you radiate because you're radiating it from the center of your yes. being. You're radiating. When you radiate self-love, mm-hmm. you're going to get more love to yes. you. And that's Absolutely. the law of radiance. So mm-hmm. it's not just thinking, oh, I'm thinking love. No, it's radiating love. Yes. And I, I get that. Mm-hmm. I get the radiance of love. Yes. And um, it's it's just a powerful place to be. If but you, you have, feel at peace, yeah. right? Don't feel, you feel oh more my god, peace? that's where it is. We walk we walk in peace. Yes. We walk in that place of self love, peace. That mm-hmm. everything that that we are is yes. just so beautiful yes. and divine. So we're closing down this. Well, first this episode went so quickly, I know. but um. One tip for our listeners, and I just believe that this is such an important process of where we're going as a, as a society, as as yeah. people, as as a culture, as a tribe, as the oneness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what's the one thing that we can do this week to really tap into self love? Every day, or every day, you should do this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> find something mm-hmm. that you know invokes love within you right Mm. so if that's like we talked about working out right Mm. is an act of Mm self-love speaking kindly to yourself Mm. is an act of self-love if you make a mistake don't put yourself down Mm. just say okay i made a mistake right like nobody's perfect let's move on from it but just (laughs) don't be so hard on yourself right do you really believe in mistakes i do do you believe in mistakes i do um I don't believe in coincidences. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? I believe in. I think maybe... if you're not mindful, yeah. you can make a mistake. Yeah. Okay. I love that. So we're that's... gonna have to have another conversation about yeah. that. I believe that the journey is is just very divine and lessons we learn. Mm-hmm. Lessons we learn. I love how you how you put that. So my tip for this week for everyone is sit. Be still and just feel. Mm -hmm. Be still and feel. It doesn't matter what you're feeling. But when you get honest with yourself and you Mm -hmm. speak your truth of what you are feeling in that moment, Mm -hmm. you're connecting to something so much deeper than the external. Absolutely. Just be still. Just be still. Five, even, I I say even a minute. A minute, but I'm a 20 minute sometimes I've been spending an hour in meditation this week. I love that. It's been like, wow, crazy. Right. But we must be able to feel. Mm-hmm. We must be able to and feel. feel through it. Don't feel, feel bad through for it. what you're feeling. Yes. Feel through it. Feel I love through that. it and get to the other side of it. I love that. Self-love. What yes. a great one. So thank goodness that we're going to continue on this conversation. You guys, we're going to continue on this conversation about self-love and really exploring that place of what's the real? What's the real deal? Because stuff does fall away. You know, it mm-hmm. does. Mm-hmm. But what's left is you. Self-love. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I say this every week, but, you know, I'm saying this with so much honesty and gratitude and gratefulness. I learn so much from you every week. Oh, and I learn from you. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> and I love myself. Yay! Yay! You love yourself first. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Remember to subscribe where you listen to your podcasts. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook.